Hey there, and welcome to Soundcheck. This is Luke from SupportAx. I'm the uh, industry relations manager for SupportAx. And uh, we're up to, I think this is episode five of Soundcheck. Thanks so much for joining us today. Before we kick off, we've got a, a great guest today in Holly Norman. But before I get started, I want to refer everyone to the Support Act Wellbeing Helpline. It's a 24 hour a day, seven day a week uh, resource for people who work in the music industry who might be doing a tough right now. Uh, so if you've got anything you can talk about, call 1-800-959-500. And it's staffed by fully qualified mental health practitioners who have experience with working with people from the music industry. So make use of that. And uh, also we want to let everyone know that these sessions are for musicians, they're for people who work in the crewing industry and all types of people who work in the industry, managers from labels, promoters, tour managers, basically anyone who says that they work in the music industry. Today we've got something a little bit different. We've been focusing on some very uh, heavy subjects, but we've having some good conversations. But today we wanted to do something a little bit different around our physical movement, hence why I am dressed in my informal gear. So thanks to Holly for joining us. All right, hey Luke, and thanks for having me. Hi everyone out there um, who's having a look this morning. Um, so I guess I just wanted to, it's my first time doing one of these. So I wanted to introduce myself to support app members and let everybody out there know why it is that I do what I do and how it's relevant to me. So um, as Luke said, I'm a musician. Um, I've, I would generally work full time as an arts manager or production manager in, um, in live event production. I have done for about the last six to 10 years. Um, but then on top of that, my side gig, which I love very much, is that I work as a yoga teacher um, with a particular interest in supporting people in the you know live production and music arts community um, where we often tend to neglect our health a little bit. Amazing. Um, so yeah I guess for me at the moment um, in under the current circumstances the first thing that I wanted to start with was just by inviting everyone to I guess reflect on how your movement patterns may have changed in the last few weeks. Um, so particularly if you've gone from working outside of the home to working in the home. Um, you've possibly lost a commute in there with a little bit of walking or if you normally move to get to work or you normally move at work, um, it's quite likely there's a big chunk of your daily movement that's been reduced. And that actually already has a really significant impact on kind of the, the body-mind connection and, and how you're going to feel on a daily basis. Um, so there's some stuff that we can do in the home environment that is really, really simple, it's free, doesn't cost any money and that I think is pretty helpful. So I just wanted to chat about that today. Beautiful. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready when you are, Holly. <laughs> so the first thing um, that I would suggest if you're able to, before you do anything else in the day, um, is just get up in the morning and walk outside of your house. Um, yep. And if you've got... <laughs> Take it off. Yeah. Or you can go for a little walk. Go for a little stroll. I'm going to go for a stroll. Yeah, go for a walk. Yeah, go for a little stroll, even if it's just if it's just around the block. Like, start by getting, <laughs> look, start by getting your steps up. Um, yeah, you can walk to the house with a with a pedometer on. Like, it can be anything. Um, but yeah, just by starting to be in a position that's not seated, because particularly if you're now working at home you're not going to be maybe going down the road and grabbing a sandwich or you, you might not take those same incidental breaks. So I think taking a regular break and starting with that at the start of the day, maybe see if you're working at home, if you could do 60 minutes on and five minutes off or something like that. And yeah, just break it up, go out, go down to the letterbox, go down to the end of the street. Um, Get some pumping. Yeah, exactly. And then come back. Um, and then the second thing I thought we could go through a few just really simple um, seated stretches. Okay, um, so Luke's dressed for it. <laughs> I just stood up and I'll sit back down again. <laughs> you, can do it. you can do it sitting down. The, the, one, thing probably, the one thing I'd probably suggest um, if you spend all of your day in a chair is get out of that chair and yeah, get down on the I can, feel, I can feel this happening. I'm turning into a hunchback. Yeah, like I'm sitting on the floor right now, for example. I'm really pregnant, so you'll be able to see my tummy there. But yeah, sit cross-legged on the floor or sit, um, you know, up on your knees on the floor. Mm -hmm. Any position that's going to be comfortable for you. You can do it really standing or seated, but ideally just not in a chair. Chairs are just the worst for so many reasons. Um, 
So once we're out of our chair and we're in that comfortable position, either seated or standing with just gently bent knees, uh, the first thing I'm going to get you to do is actually just close your eyes. Okay. So I'm going to close my eyes too, so Luke and I can trust each other. <laughs> everyone, everyone watching, close your eyes. So you don't need to have your eyes open for this. And then just listen to the sound of my voice. And begin here just by taking a deeper breath in through your nose. And then a breath out of the mouth. I'm just going to do that two more times. So nice deep breath in through the nose. See if you can keep your stomach nice and relaxed. Breath out of the mouth. I think my, I think my stomach might be getting a bit too relaxed. through this. <laughs> Look, this is a pregnant person doing this. So no gags about <laughs> stomach size. <laughs> Last one, inhale through the nose. Really, really deep breath. So deepest breath that you've taken so far today. And let it out of the mouth. You can keep on doing that. You can just gradually blink your eyes open. You can do that as many more times as you like. But the thing that we're trying to focus on there is, I guess, the difference between just stretching and yoga really is just the integration of the breath. So I think people tend to be really off put by the word yoga and what it is. It means that you have to be crazy flexible and to be able to put your foot behind your head. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means... Well, I haven't tried it yet. Just for <laughs> Yeah, so I think there's a little, little bit of a stigma attached, but really, if you are aware of your breathing at the same time that you are moving your body, then you're starting to get a little bit to, more to the essence of, of a yoga practice. So with that in mind, I'll do a few more seated stretches. So I'll just move back so that you can see me there. So you're going to start by just interlacing your fingers. Nice. And then just press your palms out away from you. Okay. And then you're going to see if you can... Start to hollow out your back a little bit. So you're going to lean back as you press your palms forward. So it'll look like you're kind of arching the upper part of your back. Nice. And then take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, stay there. Nice. And then inhale. Take the palms up above you. Sit up really, really straight. So you feel like you're kind of pressing your tailbone down, sacrum down and pressing the palms up towards the ceiling. And it might feel really quite tight if this isn't something that you do a lot. Might end up with shoulders up around the ears, that's okay. Again, breathe here. So deep breath in. Feel the side ribs, deep breath out. Beautiful, then we're gonna go inhale, we're gonna take it to a side stretch. So you're gonna keep that same positioning with the hands. You might already feel a little bit of pins and needles sensation, huh, Luke? <laughs> like this? Yeah, nice. And then see if you can spin your top armpit or shoulder up towards the ceiling and take your gaze up there as well. Deep breath in. Wow. Okay, I'm starting to feel the burn now. Yeah, you, it's, I know it's simple, but you'll feel a burn. Yeah. Exhale, come back to the centre. Side. Take it over to the opposite side. You got it. This is all the accumulated tension from working at a computer or holding a phone all day. Nice. It's just nice to not be looking at the screen for five minutes. Just yeah, that's right. So turn your face up towards the ceiling, deep breath in. And exhale, take it back down towards the centre. Nice. And you can just slowly release your hands, shake it out a little bit. Shake it off. So already after just something so simple, just return the palms to your lap. Roll the shoulders a couple of times. Okay. And then I want you to close your eyes again. And just come back to your own breathing. So notice where you are in a natural breath cycle, if it's on the inhale or the exhale. And then just take three more rounds of deliberate inhale through the nose. And this time exhale through the nose. And as you're doing that, just see if you notice any difference in how the breath feels, how the body feels. Feels better already, Holly. Yeah, after doing such a short little exercise. Yeah, feels so much better already, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so I, I was expecting just to kind of help this conversation go, but I'm, I'm feeling the benefits already. <laughs> totally. so there's heaps of that sort of stuff that we can do. Um, and, yeah, happy to work with Support Act and put a little few more things together that can just Yeah, be I think that's great. Like we'll, we'll keep putting up little stretches like that. Uh, maybe we'll just do a quick recap before 
before we wrap up today's session, we'll come back next week with maybe another another tip. Um, so maybe just want to quickly recap on all of those movements again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that one you can do either seated or standing. Seated um, or standing. I, yeah, maybe go through it once seated, once standing as a nice little break. That would take you five to ten minutes. Um, so the process would be a breath check-in at the start of the exercise to notice. Breath check-in, gotcha. Yeah, breath check-in at first with the eyes closed, just trying to kind of internalise your attention a little bit. Notice if you feel stuck in the body, which is what we did. Um, and then from there, just stretching forwards, pressing the palms outwards. Stretching forward. Back to the side. And I'm kind of hollowing out my back that way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Holding out the back. And then from there, we would go up. And generally, one deep breath in and one deep breath out per movement to the side. Same thing. The side. One deep breath in, one deep breath out. Back to the centre. And you really want to keep trying to press your palms up to the ceiling because that kind of intent of movement is where you'll get that resonating sensation down the where forearm. That, where that blue blue. comes from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then to the yeah. other side, back yeah. to the center, shake it out, come down. Yeah. And All then right. just close the eyes and do another little breath check in and just notice the difference. And then maybe go for a five minute walk down to the end of your street and you're already probably- Yeah, good. And also just lots of people will be leading relatively sedentary lives right now. So it's just good, good to exactly. be more conscious of how your posture is and all those kinds of things. Totally. As yeah. I, um, I looked at my, in my health app, like my step count just was decimated. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're all way down, down on the step count. I'm going to have to try to get the steps back up again. So I'm trying to go for about a three or four or five kilometer walk each morning, um, which takes me a long time because I'm really pregnant and I have to keep stopping. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Well, it's amazing. It's, you're, still, you're still pulling it off at like, you know, so advanced in your pregnancy. It's amazing. Well, the thing is like, it's movement. It's like a, it's like a bank account, you know, the more that you put in, the more that you're going to have to get out. So just, just keep doing it. Even if it feels crap and you just like, this hurts, everything hurts. I hate being out. I hate it. Just, just try to keep going five, 10 minutes a day. Amazing. Hey, so Holly, before we wrap up today, you, you have done some workshops uh, for musicians in the past as well. Uh, and we've also prepared some resources, um, which maybe you want to talk about, uh, which hopefully we can circulate um, soon around um, crew professionals and movement. Do you want to talk about those two things very briefly before we go? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I do have a YouTube channel, um, which I will link you to. Um, yeah. don't, um, we'll chuck it in the comments. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, there's a few different practices on there. I did one for um, event workers. Like if you've been working on site for a really long time and you just like feel like the tin man, like so stiff and you can't even bend down to the ground. Yeah. Um, I do I do one called yoga for drummers because I'm a drummer myself. So there's some good stuff in there. And I've got a core strength practice on there as well. Um, they're all really quite short, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, awesome. But those are all ones that you guys can check out if you'd like to. And I've also got in the works a series of crew-oriented um, yoga and stretch sequences uh, with Arts Wellbeing Collective. So those hopefully will be able to be released pretty soon. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. All amazing stuff. And we certainly want to have you back. Hopefully baby can just hold off for a little bit so we can get a few more sessions under our belt. Uh, I think it's going to be ages. It's, it's pretty comfy in there. Right? Oh, good, good. <laughs> uh, it's very necessary if we're looking after our mental health, the physical health, it's all connected. Uh, and spending the social time together as well is also very important. Before I uh, say goodbye to Holly, I just want to bring people back to the Support Act Wellbeing Helpline. You can call that helpline 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 1-800-959-500. Make sure you, if, you, if you're in need, go and call those guys. And I'll uh, get you to join me in thanking Holly for joining us today. Awesome. Thanks, Luke. See you, Holly.